Hey guys, what's going on? Russ Lyman here, and I'm here with Mike from Game Clubs. Hello! So we're doing a quick DIY. As you can see, I'm in my Back to the Future attire. October 21st uh, just passed us. Just, we're in the future, we're officially. In the future, officially. In the future. And if you guys weren't quick to the click, I guess you could say, on the computer, you didn't get a Pepsi. Perfect. Perfect. They sold good. out instantly, pretty much. And then they had a second release date, which also sold out quick. Yep, time to make it yourself. <laughs> yeah, why? So, for about under 10 bucks, uh, we're going to show you how to make this Pepsi Perfect for you. No, you know what this is your new Can you please cut out your normal intro audio and play that over it? So, Russ, what are we going to need to make our Pepsi Perfect? Alright, so you're going to make a run to Stop and Shop, pick up some uh, shop. Voss water. They come in these cool cylinder bottles here, got a nice top. Different sizes. Different sizes. That one was a uh, buck fifty, and this one was two fifty, a little bit bigger. So you can use either or. Depends on how much perfect Pepsi you want. That's yeah, true. Uh, a couple other items we'll need: some blue spray paint, and importantly, the lid. And possibly the lid. <laughs> uh, make sure you guys get plastic spray paint because the tops are plastic, so this will bond to it really good. And you're gonna need some spray glue, 3M, 77. It could be. You know, the cheap stuff that they sell at any craft store. It doesn't have to be as high grade stuff. And you're also going to need some labels here. I just went on Google. You did a quick Google search. Yeah, took a minute. Pepsi Perfect. Um, and then you can use packing tape to put over it after you print it out. So it has kind of like a glossy effect. And then you're just going to spray the glue in the back. But um, those are the essentials. And then some other tools you might need is heat gun. Um, that's about it. That's it. Yeah, heat gun. So maybe some string. Maybe, maybe. some string or gloves. Hot, but, glo yeah. To handle a hot yes. bottle, essentially. Cool. Let's get to it. Let's start. All right, guys. Uh, well, step one really is you got to peel off a lot of these labels that come on the Voss bottle here. Um, we already did it on the large one there, and then you're gonna have to uh, empty the water. Uh, how are we gonna do that, Mike? I, I don't know. Someone would have to drink it. I think. Yeah, that's this a lot is of water expensive drink. water. <laughs> Oh. Oh, hey, that works. Yeah. Step one, complete. Step one. That's it. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Alright guys, so step two, you're going to want to paint the lid. And this just unscrews here. And you get something to place it in, we're just using a paint tray. Um, and then make sure you shake up your paint can. And light coats is the key. You don't want to lay it on super thick. Um, a couple inches away. Yeah. Don't get too close though. I always like to spray a little area um, in case it has any gunk buildup or something like that. And then you can just dust it lightly. Make sure to rotate as you go. Just like that, pretty much. It's just a very light coat to get the paint to stick. And then you give it five to 10 minutes. Yeah, try And you do quick. another coat. Um, Again, important that you get the plastic bonding spray paint. Yeah, this here, it's Fusion Plastics, four plastic. Walmart, a couple bucks. Yeah, it's only a few dollars. Um, yeah. It might not be the exact color of the blue on the can, but it's pretty close. Yeah, just like a dark blue. All right guys, so make sure you get a partner to hold the bottle for you. Cause you can't do this alone. Someone has to use a heat gun and the other person's nice gonna rotate gloves. it. Yeah, get some gloves so you don't get burned. We got some wood, let's protect our table here. Um, and I'm just These gonna- These things get pretty hot, so you know, just be careful. Absolutely. Yeah. And have let's just go, let's have at it. You're just gonna heat it up evenly. You pretty much want the bottom half of the bottle to heat up. That's what we're shaping. Piercing there, yeah. And the bottles are cheap; they're a buck fifty a piece. So if you mess up, I'd say grab a couple at the store. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit of trial and error. And uh... is it essentially you, you want it to get that curved shape, um, much like this? Is there a finished product? Yeah, there's imperfections a little bit in it, but when it's sitting up on the shelf and you fill it, you can't really tell too much. 
All right, guys, so after you print out your labels here, you could use packing tape or some type of uh, um, laminate to kind of protect the paper. And then all you're gonna do is flip it over to the paper side and you got your spray glue here. And you're just gonna give it a little bit. Doesn't have to be a lot. Well, it goes a long way with this stuff. And then you, you wanna let it sit. You don't wanna put it on right away because this stuff has to tack up. Um, so let it sit for you know, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, something like that. And then we're just gonna you know apply it onto the bottle. Good, good to go. Good to go. So the way to tell too, if you touch it and it's kind of tacky like that, and sticks to your finger, that means it's ready to go. So essentially, you're just gonna lay it on there, and to not get bubbles, you wanna work from the center out and just kind of push it around the bottle. And that's how you work out all the ripples and everything. So that's how you put together the Pepsi Perfect. Um, we also found out a cool little tip. Uh, if you didn't want to paint the top to the water bottle, it actually used <laughs> the spray paint lid actually fit almost good. You can probably Dremel it. It fits a little bit better on the big, bigger bottle and it has that better shape of the Pepsi Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, if you keep it on the sheet, that looks fine. Put it yeah. on your shelf, display I mean, it, awesome. fill it up, and you're good to go. Yeah, so thanks for tuning in. Uh, I'll be back again with more videos with Mike. We got a lot of DIY stuff we're gonna be working on. Absolutely. So be sure to hit that subscribe button to be up to date on all the videos I put out. Thanks for watching. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. That's how you make a Pepsi Perfect. Imperfect. Indeed. <laughs>